we are going to use a cable and a lithium ion phosphate battery to give my all powers R600 portable power station a serious capacity boost. This could be useful if you already have a portable power station but want to increase your capacity. Looking to add some extra emergency power to your system or if you're looking for a way to increase your off-grid setup. My all powers R600. This is an XT60 connection for the solar input. It can handle voltage range from 12 to 60 volts. And there is a 8.8 .8 amp limit in the MPPT charge controller. We're going to use a 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate 12 volt battery to mimic, mimic a solar panel using a cable and an XT60 connection. So I went ahead and built myself a cable from scratch using some XT60 connectors and added some terminal rings for the positive and negative. I soldered my own connection, crimped on my own terminal rings, which you can just as easily buy a pre-made cable. I will leave an affiliate link in the description if you want to buy a cable like this. So let's connect the terminal rings to the battery and hook it up to the portable power station and see what happens. All right. Need to make sure Going to make your cables DIY way by yourself that your polarities are correct and well, for extra protection you could add a this case a 10 amp fuse in line. So, don't think I'll need it if I've done everything correctly. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see if something close. Tighten the connections. Like that. Positive. Negative. Let's just hope I soldered correctly. All right. Let's see what happens. Something's humming. As you can see, we are getting 104 watts of input from the 100 amp hour battery, which means it is giving about 8.8 .8 amps at roughly little over 12 volts. This is a success. We're effectively adding 1,280 watt hours to the portable power station. This will, will work with pretty much 
every portable power station that uses an XT60S input and has a dedicated MPPT charge controller inside. Any lithium iron phosphate battery will do. If you have a bigger voltage battery and your power station can't handle the high voltage from your battery, just add a DC to DC step down in between and it will work just the same. This is so cool. So what do you think? Is this something you could try out for yourself? Uh, have you already tried it? Do you have any ideas for improvement? What do you think? Let me know in the comments.